another video and it is vlogmas so yes we are doing vlogmas I have been talking about it um, I always kind of like am I gonna do it am I not gonna do it because I never know if I'm gonna have time I my life is just not that interesting <laughs> and is it going to be worth all of it and then I always tell myself yes I have a lot of fun doing it I have a lot of fun doing the holiday videos um, but as you guys know I do work full-time outside the home um, I do work from home two days a week and the other three days a week I am in office and usually the last two weeks before Christmas is a little bit busy because we're trying to narrow thing, um, wind things down um, because we are off. So like our last day of work is December 15th and then we're off for the rest of the month. But before then, I'm just super busy. So I have been spending these last like 10 days. That's why I haven't been posting much um, because I've been spending these last 10 days getting things ready, getting my intros and my outros and just my lists done and um, one thing I still have not done is getting everything written into a planner on I need to film this on this day and post this on this day. That's, you know, one of my big things I need to write it down so that way I know what I have going on. Um, also, we have our December goals that we are going to be doing. So, what will you see though in Vlogmas? Random observation. Do you always notice that when cups only have something on, you know, have something on it, they usually only have it on one side for one thing. And it feels like it's always on the side that is not shown. I guess it's so you can see it, right? Is that what? Yeah, see, that's what you're going to get with Vlogmas, a bit random things. So I guess it's so, you know, because most people don't have a YouTube channel where they're trying to show my holiday mug. This is my newest one. They're actually, you know, so, so you can see it while you are drinking it. They need to make mugs with, you know, YouTube in mind. So that way we can show our mugs. Anyway. And this is really the only holiday mug I have out yet <laughs> because I am still have my have my my tote out there getting my coffee ball done and getting all my coffee books out. This is actually um, I am filming this on November 30th, so the day before I'm going to post it. Um, but yes, we are drinking some coffee. Let me grab my notes because we're going to talk about what you will see in Vlogmas this year. So, like I said. Mo a lot people do vlogmas kind of different ways some just do it the way that I do it and you just post a video every day from December 1st through Christmas sometimes through the end of the end of December which I typically do but I just don't make any promises past December 25th because you never know what's going to happen um, some people vlog their lives every single day like I said my life's not that interesting I go to work I spend eight hours a day at work or eight hours a day sitting here at my desk working um, and then besides that, you know, we have no little kids. Um, we don't do anything for Christmas because we do our family Christmas in July at the beach uh, because of, you know, where we're all located. It's just something we've, it's never been guaranteed that we could all get together for Christmas because of weather and whatnot. So we do Christmas in July. So we don't really do much. We do like just our immediate, like our children that still live close by. We do that here on Christmas day and that's about it. So. You know, we don't get a lot of snow here. It's just hit and miss. I'm in Oregon, so we may have snow, we may have not. We have probably have gonna have rain is what we're probably gonna have through most of the time till February, and then that's when we get our snow. So I don't even have like snow to show you. <laughs> so I can't do the typical like vlogging, vlogmas stuff that I love to watch. Like I watch a lot of vlogmas during December because I love to watch the videos and but I also love to do it because I like to get ideas, you know, and, and whatnot. So this is what you're going to see on my channel for Vlogmas. We um, will do my usual videos, so my grocery hauls, any meal preps I do. I don't tend to meal prep every single week during December, especially once I'm off work because I'm home um, and I'm not having to, you know, travel with my lunch to work and whatnot. But I do do some of that stuff. So you're going to have the usual, you know, the usual posts, the grocery hauls the um the meal preps and the weekly updates so those will be like the three videos that you will see you know just standard videos and then i will do some vlogging um and, and typically the way i do my 
vlogging and they're usually just what I eat in the day or what's going on on the day. I do them, I do usually do multiple days and just post the one video. These will be daily. So I will do at least three of those a week where I am vlogging my day. It may not be so interesting, but I'll try to put some interesting things in there. You know, I'll try some kind of holiday recipe. I'll show you some holiday decor I have. I will, um, you know, I've been watching a ton of holiday Christmas movie, you know, Christmas movies like Hallmark and Hulu has some and Netflix has some. I watch a ton of them during the holidays and I've already watched a ton of them. So I may do like a day that I'm vlogging, but I also tell you like all the, all the movies that I've watched and kind of give you some reviews on them. Um, I am been in a huge reading slump, so I usually Christmas books, holiday books, and those kind of books will get me out of that reading slump. So I've actually read one, just started another one. So I'll kind of do a book review, and it may just be a vlog where I'm showing you what I eat and what, how my day is going, and then also just add a book review in there. So you'll see things like that. Um, I bought quite a few. So funny story, um, I cannot find a lot of like, um, I have an espresso. And one of my favorite Starbucks coffees is the Holiday Blend. And you cannot find those around here um, in my area with the Holiday Blend espresso pots. Um, my son found them at Target in the town that he lives in. And, but it's, you know, it's like an hour and a half away or about, yeah, about that way, about that much. And I just, that's not, that's a long ways to drive to go to Starbucks. I mean, to get Starbucks Holiday Blend coffee. I mean, I can also hit up Trader Joe's, but anyway. Um, so I went on Target online and I was able to order them online. Who knew? Like I, see, we have, we don't have a Target here. I've been in Target maybe five times in my entire lifetime because we don't have one here. And like I said, I, I just don't want to drive that far just to go to Target. Um, so I went online and I scored. Like there's a ton of like that I'm going to use for like halt for like food gifts and stuff from like my packages and things like that that I give to people. But I want to do a taste test. So I bought a ton of holiday snacks. And we're going to do a taste test. We're going to taste them all and then the rest of them will go into my gift baskets and stuff that I give to people. So um, we'll do some taste testing. I am hoping to do like a gingerbread house contest. Um, me and my son were talking about it, but now that he moved away, I'm not, I can probably get him down here where we can film us both doing a gingerbread house because neither one of us have done one before. So we're going to film us doing a gingerbread house and then you guys can decide who was the best. So we, that's something that I really would love to do. Um, so those are the kind of things that you're gonna see. Oh, I do have um, some like, you know, coworker, neighbor gifts, teacher gifts, the ideas. Um, I'm gonna try to get that video up around the middle of the month because they're super easy, like great for last minute gifts and they're handmade. And so I think there'll be a couple food ones and a couple just crafty ones and that'll be all in one video. So. Um, I have that coming, so I've been planning all of that. Anyway, that is everything pretty much. And then I'll just show you, like I said, any decor, any new shirts or clothing that I got that is holiday related, which I think this will be the only one because I have quite a few, but this is a super cute sweatshirt that I got. Um, I got this at Maurice's and I have some nails. Right now I just have my regular nails, but I, ha I do have some holiday nails that I'll be wearing each week. I'm gonna change them out each week. That's why I love the press on nails because you can make them last as long as you want or you can just take them off sooner. So I'll show you my nail collection. Um, I'll show you my bookshelf up close of my holiday bookshelf here. I'll show you my coffee bar. So those are the kind of things you're gonna see. You'll just see my face every single day in some manner and a way. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot till I saw it over here on my table. So we also have some advent calendars we're going to open every day. So I'm not going to open up one today because technically today is not uh, not December yet. Um, so starting tomorrow in my tomorrow's video, we are starting to open up all of our, I need to, I don't want to knock my coffee over, all of our advent calendars. So let me show you all the ones I got. And you like my little gnome here? Let me, let me grab him. I got this as a birthday present from one of my coworkers. Isn't he adorable? I love gnomes, as you can tell. Me and gnomes, I love gnomes. I have I have Thanksgiving gnomes, I have Halloween gnomes, and I have Christmas gnomes, but isn't he cute? He's just gonna sit here for the season. So I got me some of the advent calendars. One of the ones I got, well, is going to be the, and I've never tried this tea before. I think it's called Puka, I don't know. But it's a tea advent calendar, so. And I got one of these for my friend Krista as well, so we can open up our advent calendar together. And what I love about 
advent calendars is that you have to find it, you know, on a lot of them. So you have to like find what number one is. So what, what are we gonna have tomorrow? Tomorrow we'll have organic feel new. But anyway, so here is that. Um, and these are, it looks like they're all organic. I think they're maybe all herbal, but I'm not sure. Um, but we are gonna try every single one, even ones that maybe don't sound so great to me. And I do see a couple, but we will have our tea every day. The one I am most excited about is this. And I saw this, actually saw this idea on, Inst uh, no, Facebook. Facebook or Instagram popped up as an ad. It is a puzzle advent calendar. Y'all know how much I love to do puzzles. Have not done them in a long time. Um, so I went on Amazon. They did, I did see, tried to order them through the, the ad that I found, but I thought it's going to take, it said it was going to take like 10 days for shipping, which I saw it like way back in beginning in November. But then I went on Amazon and there were so many more choices. So it's the advent calendar and it's a thousand and eight piece puzzle. Um, and you get a little thing here to show you what it is. It's humongous. Like I don't know why they give you such a big thing to look at. Um, and I haven't done a puzzle in so long, you guys. So I have my table. I haven't set it up yet, but I have a little card table that I'm gonna set up in here. And every day we are going to open up some puzzle pieces. So I don't know how many is in each one, but there's 24. And so every day you just have some puzzles to put together and you can start putting together the puzzle. Isn't that fun? So this, I mean, maybe more of like a kid thing maybe, but I love puzzles and I just thought this was the most unique advent calendar ever. I got it from Amazon. Um, I will remind me because I'm sure I will forget but remind me if you don't see it linked down below I will link all of these down below because with at least with this one being on Amazon you sh and also the T one is on Amazon so if you're interested in either one of these you can probably get them in the next couple of days and just you you know may just be a couple days behind on the advent calendar but there's a ton 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 of um, different um, of the puzzle ones and I just think it's so fun. So if you're a puzzle lover, I think you guys would love this. Now one of one of these, which is a funny story, is I opened up my tea, my uh, coffee mug bin to start putting my coffee mugs out and I saw this in here and I'm like, what is this? This is the advent calendar from last year and I cannot, re I know I opened up one Chalk Zero advent calendar last year but I'm thinking I got multiple ones because I know they sent me every once so I don't get a lot of PR from Chalk Zero because I don't, I don't, you know, you know, I don't like really push my codes or anything. I probably should. I mean, especially for you guys to be able to use them. Just so you know, I always have codes down below. Chalk Zero is always one of them. Um, and so I, do, I think I was surprised with the PR box from Chalk Zero and I already had purchased a couple, one for me and one for, I think I gave one to my son. So I think this was an extra one. Um, so anyway, this is, um, but they're still good till February. So um, no sugar added dark chocolate. So this is their one from last year. And their chocolate is really good as you guys know. I also have a Chalk Zero um, haul that I'll show you guys one day um, this week too. Then their newest one this year is, I get one every year from them. And so hopefully they don't send me one. They probably won't because I really haven't, I don't think I've had any commissions from Chalk Zero for like six months. <laughs> um, so this is their newest one and I believe these are all chocolate Santas. Um, uh, I know I already opened it, there we go. And it has a little story on there. In the, or no, it's a little note from, it says this is our sixth Christmas and I wanted to take the time to thank you for 2023. Time and time again, our community has brought us joy and inspiration through both the good and the hard times. The greatest gift I've ever been given is making chocolate for a living, and it's all thanks to you. I hope you find warmth during this holiday season. Enjoy this year's advent calendar. Rhea from Chalk Zero. So, and I'm pretty sure, because it shows the Santas on the back, and that reminded me that I'm pretty sure that they're all little chocolate Santas in here. So, so we have four advent calendars this year, so we're just going to have them right up over there and we will be opening up those every day so you can see what I get my little advent calendar we can watch the puzzle come together and that'll be our um, vlogmas this year so I hope you guys come along and that you watch every day I'm going to try to keep the videos kind of shorter so then that way you're not feeling because I know there's so many people who do vlogmas and you probably if you're like me you have quite a few people that you make sure you watch every day so I'm gonna try to keep them, but you know how it gets. And like the, the crafting food 
gift one will probably be a little bit longer because you know I want to show all the steps but um, which I do I'm gonna try to remember um, I will try to always have in these in the in every description box of my vlogmas videos I will have a vlogmas playlist so you don't miss any and I also will um, do I'm gonna put like my previous like crafting type ones because I will always have those down there then that way if you're some things that you want to start crafting now like like these I made these a couple years ago I have a gnome down here that I made um, I have some like wreaths and some wall hangings and stuff so I will link all of my crafting um, gift type things down below and it also in a thing in the description box but I also have my vlogmas playlist for this year and for um, all my previous years and that way you can see all of those I think I have them all in playlists but anywho that is it and I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I hope you're looking forward to vlogmas and I will see you in the next video bye guys